All right. What you have here on the wall, this is our quad logic submetering system. You have a mini closet, which is um, several different meters in one unit. You, this this particular mini closet is set up to do six three phase me, uh, six three phase meter points. You have an RSM five, which is for one three phase meter point, and then you have the scan transponder or your data collector, which collects all the data from the meters. As you can see there, well, there's no communication lines running between the data collector and any of the meters. This collects the data through the existing power lines. It talks over uh, existing power lines using a really low frequency so it doesn't disturb the power. Uh, it does, collects the data once a day. The meters record the data on 15 minute intervals or you can set it up for whatever interval you would like it to record the data. These have a 60 day memory. The scan transponder has a 40 day memory. So if you lose power or whatever, you know, you're, you still got your data there because it's non volatile flash memory, it's going to hold it. The uh, Lantronics device that you see here, this is what we're using to be able to remotely read all the data from the scan transponder. It puts it out over the internet, it uh, has its own IP address, so you can be in New York City and still get to this scan transponder and see what's going on with the power in this building. So that is what we have here and the CTs are at the service about 100 feet away which with the 14 gauge wire that's about as far as you want to go. You can up your uh, leads on your CT to 10 gauge wire or and go like 800 feet away. So Now can you talk a little bit about the submetering and why it's beneficial and why people would use it? Yeah. Uh, the biggest benefit to the submetering it for a multi-tenant facility for your building owner is, and not only just the building owner but the tenants as well, instead of billing a tenant for their power by square footage, you can actually bill them for the actual power they're using. So if you've got a tenant in a building, he may have the largest area but use half the power of the guy next door to him and getting billed twice as much, you know. So, I mean, it's just the benefit of knowing um, on the billing cycle that way for your tenants. But also, if you have a factory or a plant and you get billed on your peak demand at a, so whatever your peak demand is, if it's between um, 1 and 1.30 in the day and that's the highest time that the power company bills you and that's when your peak demand is, your entire build is for that time period. So if you can use submetering, look at your data and know when your peak demand is, you can decide when to turn this machine on or that machine on to lower your peak demand and also lower your power bill. How about factory departments? Excuse me? Factory departments. Departments within a factory, you know, for cost effectiveness. Different departments, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, uh, if you have the, um, several different departments in a, in, a, in a plant, you can have each one metered individually and know, you know, what, if they're supposed to be all using the same power, you can, you, you know if you got a problem with some equipment over here or you know why are these guys using so much more power. I mean, it's just a way of knowing what's going on in your facility all the time, basically. And, you know, so you can cut your cost through your power, you can cut your cost through uh, identifying problems if you've got a machine that's because machines get old, and when they get old, they use more power, and you can, you know, see things that way too. So, cool. Can we run through, like, show me what each one of these is doing? Well, this is what you're looking at here. This is the scan transponder, the data collector. Basically, it's at this point in time, it's sitting here. It's doing nothing. Okay. It's just waiting, and once a day, it sends a signal to all the meters that it's got programmed into it and it g records their data. But as probably right now, it's basically sitting there waiting for the time to go and record the data. Okay. This is a single uh, single meter, three phase meter. Uh, there are three 200 amp CTs on their main service out here at Eldico and this is what it's recording right now. It's, you know, collecting all that data. It, Every 15 minutes, it takes a snapshot of what kilowatt hours is being used and, and everything. And, and it has your phase angle, phase factor, I mean everything in it. Just a lot of stuff. And this meter, 
it's doing basically the same thing this one is, except you got six separate meter points in here uh, taking everything I think they've got a copier on here some rooftop units that it's uh, recording their um, uh, what water heater just different meter points doing this basically the same thing this one's going to set here you have six meters and that's one meter great thank you